Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. Finally, I installed PFSense on the N5105 router PC and after that I have updated to NetGate PFSense Plus. So right here it is running uh, PFSense version 22.05. This is the latest release as I can see for now. And I have also enabled Intel AES. As you can see it's enabled right here. So right now the CPU temperature is around 41 to 42 degrees Celsius. On the network connection, it is uh, running uh, PPoE on VLAN 35 for the one connection. And on the LAN connection, it is just a normal setup. Okay. So we can see that uh, VLAN, we have VLAN 35 for the internet. And uh, for PPE, we have the connection up and running. So let me minimize everything and let us check it out. So 192.168.5.1. And now I'm going to run top. Let's open the speed test program and let's see. very good we are running at 230 mpps and the cpu is at 93 95 percent idle okay and let's see how it slope lies for upload all right so for upload we can see that the speed go up to 400 or something and then it go back to 290 actually 300 okay that is good performance let's give another try very good we have 200 and we can see that the download speed is fluctuate it go up to 260 or something and then go back to 220 or 30 with the CPU at around 93 percent idle and for upload, we have 240, 50 Mbps with 92 or 94% CPU idle. Now let's run the test again, but with the power consumption. So let me put it aside so that we can put the power consumption matter to this side. All right, let's go. So we can see that the power consumption go from 12.5 to 13.5. It's now 13.2. Okay. For upload, it go to 14 and then go back to 13.8. Alright, so I think we have the result now and now I'm going to change the network configuration So right now I have changed the one interface to JSCP and we are receiving an IP address from my JSCP server So let's go back to the network diagram right here and we can see that the N5105 it connected to my Xeon E3 1230V2 server with a 2.5 gigabit link speed and the same for LAN. So basically the network connection is one at LAN, the one port is GSCP client and the LAN port is running GSCP server for my PC. So there is no VLAN, this VLAN is not being used at all so I just delete it so that you can easily see what is going on and now let's proceed with a 1-2 LAN throughput test alright we are ready for the test and let's go so very good we are running 2480 megabit per second download with the CPU at 75% idle and for upload we have 1000 actually it is 
close to 2000 Mbps, it is now 2100 with 84% CPU idle. That is a really good result. So let's run the test again, but this time we will take a look at the power consumption as well. Now let's run the test with the power consumption overview. So right here during idle, we have the power consumption at 14 or 13.2 watt. This is 220 volt. So I'm going to start the test. Alright, so during 2000 and around 400 MPPS throughput, the power consumption go to 18.5 and sometimes it go to 19 Watt. And we can see that the performance of uh, PFSend when we are running a 2.5 gigabit uh, throughput test is really good. And for upload, it is uh, around 17 Watt. Alright, so that is um, the open speed test, and now I'm going to run a quick IPUB3 test. And as usual, I will need to start the IPUB3 test server. For IPUB3, we are running at a little bit slower, we are running at 1.98 gigabit per second. And the CPU is at 83% idle. Okay, so on this side, I can see that the power consumption is also around 17 watt. Let's run the test again, but this time in reverse mode. So when running the test in reverse mode, I can see that initially the bandwidth is 2.3733 and then it dropped down to 1.83 gigabit per second. So right now on my PC, it is a Realtek 2.5 gigabit network port. On my test server, it is an Intel one. So there should be some problem caused by the Realtek one. But we will give another try sometime with Linux. So before I'm going to end the video, I will establish the connection. Let me. So this time I'm going to run the test. So this time I'm going to run the test longer. And I will also show the power consumption so that you can see what is going on. One, two, three, let's go. Alright, so right now we are running at 2.33 and then it's dropped down to 1.99 or 98 and the power consumption right now at 17.2 or 16.8 watt. Okay, that is not bad at all. Alright, so I think we can back to the PFSEN dashboard and see what is going on. Alright, so we can see the throughput right here is 400. Okay, let me see what is it. Okay, so why is the statistics on way running? I cannot see. Okay, so it is 400 and... <laughs> Alright, never mind. But we can see that the CPU temperature is only at 83 degrees Celsius because I have a USB cooling fan right here on top of the case. So I'm going to wrap up the video here and we're going to have more tests in the next video. Maybe OpenVPN and why God? Uh, because for me, I'm still new to uh, PFSense. So yeah, if you have any idea or any information, yeah, feel free to let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.